up here. This is a special edition of Out of Stock. I'm gonna focus a little bit on my trip in Vietnam. I'm gonna show you guys some of the really good foods out here in Saigon. Joining me today is Ben from Philly. He's actually living out here in Saigon. And then we have Layla. She's actually from Saigon. She's a local and she's gonna show us around. We had Phu Nguyen, one of the local spots by Boy Vin. What do you think of the broth? Oh, yeah, the broth, the broth's cool. It's actually right? flavorful. It's a flavorful broth. I actually like it like this. I don't, do you like your food sweeter? Sometimes? I feel like that's more of a southern Vietnamese thing, right? Actually, I put my back on. Like a really sweeter. You know, in the south, they dock it up a little bit more, but I think just because out here it's, it's a lot warmer, there's more herbs, there's more different like spices, different ingredients. So we kind of like this but it's not too greasy. You don't see too much oil in this one. Sometimes you see a lot of fat and a lot of... Yeah, so it's like clean up broth, which is good. That's, that's always a good sign. But sometimes I even like the fatty broth. Yeah, actually, it's better in there. Like it, so they don't ask for more. I feel like there's not a best bug anywhere. Like everyone kind of makes it different. And I feel like depending on your palate, I like it. you like the spot. I didn't like Pho Land. Yeah, we're going to check out Pho Land too. A very well known spot. Definitely stop by here if you're around the neighborhood. For a home right now, which is Layla's favorite. I'm gonna try the broth right now. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's, it's a much richer broth. The rare beef is kind of sweet. A little sweeter yeah, than the other spot. The broth is definitely sweeter than the last one. Oh, guy, and this is sweet, really which is very expensive, guys. So if you're eating it at a full restaurant, you're not gonna touch it or use it. Don't mess it up. Do you like the other spot? I think this is a good in between. Definitely completely different style. Uh, welcome to Bunsen Market. Uh, we're gonna go try some bun bell and some maybe some sweet. As a local, you come here to eat? Yeah, only for this one. My wife loves this, so I usually come here like once a week. And These are two different types. Yeah. yeah. This is like they have little shrimp paste on top. Oh, okay. I like see. dry shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. The other one. The other one have like stuffing in there. Oh. A bean. bean. Yeah, like mung bean. Yeah. Wow. It's really soft. You get hit with some of the chili too. Just a nice amount of uh, heat. Oh, even this one. This one's more. Um, they use rice flour, I believe. Uh, it's a little bit more chewy. You know, and it's like shrimp inside. It's pretty good too. Let me have them both together. The fish sauce is on porn too, yeah? yeah. Right at the corner of Bintang Market, door number seven. I'm here with my boy Jimmy from Philly. This is his first time in Saigon. What do you think so far, man? Dope, man. Really dope out here. Everything's yeah. tight. All right, so I had to take it back to uh, the JS spot right here in uh, Bintang Market. I got the basil seed one. The pandan right here. Pandan has got a little bit of a, uh, what is that? It's no. a leaf. Yeah. The yellow stuff right there is mung bean right there. So we're taking a little break from finding the pho. This is totally different. This is like shredded chicken. Well, at first we started with beef. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's like a, kind of like a beef jerky style. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, once people start eating it, it can kind of boring. So we have to come up with another one, which is my mother-in-law naked uh, shredded chicken. Well, right now, what are we gonna have today? What are you? What We're gonna have the uh, jong, which is the beef one, and also the chicken. Okay. So let's check it out. Then I'm gonna cut you the second one. Do the beef. Quail egg. Oh. The quail egg is something that I have not seen in a right. movie. I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it was like some kind of mushroom, like cut up. Right, 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 it's, right. it's beef jerky. Yeah, this right here, what you said is pork? Yeah, that's a pork belly. Oh. It's a cute pork belly, but what yeah. is it, fried? Or yeah, what? We, we fry it. Beef jerky sandwich is a lot of work. A lot of labor into it. The beef jerky is so yeah, yeah. dehydrated. Yeah. The process is long. The, the egg that you fry the quail oh, egg, yeah. a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And this chicken uh, is actually charcoal. Like, charcoal grilled? Yeah, grilled. Everything is homemade. Yeah. You guys saw the setup in there. Very homemade. Yeah. And I love that we're in the side of the street right now. That very, I feel like that's very good to me. I know I'm walking back and forth. The chicken is nice and tender. Yeah. Not dry, moist. Oh man, nice and buttery too. Facebook, Instagram, uh, fruity. Um, if you buy more than four, we deliver. Any uh, backpackers that are in Boy Bin already, come through, try it out. It's literally right around the corner. 
We're at Bell Pastor in uh, District 3 right now. A thousand reviews on Google. Had to try it out, see for myself what it's about. It's my first time here. And I still have the boy right here, uh, Boyle Stick. Yo, they say this spot's popular because a lot of tourists review it, which can be true. I see a lot of local and uh, local farms here. But when and uh, for home we are actually a little better. Uh, it's just a broth, man. Yeah. The broth is different. But I like the brisket here more than those two. The brisket here is really good. They give you a lot of meat here, actually. This is not a normal size bowl. This is like more of a kind of American size. Yeah. Portions of Vietnam are really small. Yeah. I think this is like a double. This is a big portion. I'm curious about that. It's like lighter. This is homemade hot sauce. Yeah, this is homemade. Does it taste homemade? I haven't tasted it. Now we're checking out Pho Le right behind us. Suppose this is like one of the top spots out here. We have Sophie here, she's from Taiwan. Which part of Taiwan are you from? Uh, Taipei. How many bowls of pho have you had since you've been in Saigon? Um, this is the third one. So what do you think of this spot so far for your uh, Vietnamese pho experience? Oh, it's amazing. This? Yeah, I love it. I would come back here. I think it's a good spot. My biggest thing is that like, I don't really like the sweet sauce the thigh. Isn't as raw as the other spot. Yeah, the other spot last night, the broth yeah. you had was too cold. It's nice, nice rich broth. Not as rich as yesterday, but it's really good. I think it's more rich than yesterday. Really? Yeah, I actually enjoy this broth. Yesterday's broth, I, I really didn't like it as much. When you eat a beef pho, you're looking for like certain hints where it's like maybe like some of that beef flavoring and then the herbs also. I taste more of the aromatics of the actual broth than yesterday too. I actually really like, these are my favorite noodles I had so far. The actual pho noodle itself, I think this is the best one I've had so far. I think right now this is probably one of my favorite spots. You have to remember, we are kind of hungry. Yeah. Too, so, everything just might really taste good, but overall it's really good. This spot's definitely not overrated. But the lights shut off. It shut off earlier too. The lights shut off. Now we're in the dark. I don't know where you've gone. You've went to three different spots, probably spots that I haven't gone to yet. What do you think? This is the best. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. What do you think of the pho scene in uh, Taipei? Is there one? Is there any pho shops? I've never seen any pho shops. But you know what? You guys make great braised beef. The spicy braised beef. I love that. Mm. Yeah, this broth is good, yeah. I don't think it's because I'm hungry. It's actually a good broth. I might look for more spots, but... For my itinerary for Saigon, I think this was probably the last pho shop I'm going to. Best of all we tried. What's number one to me or you might, might be completely be different somebody for somebody else, else. yeah. Because there were a lot of people at Pho Pao store. There were a lot of people at Pho Win. There was a lot of people at Pho Hung that we went to. So, you know, everyone has their personal favorite. And a lot of people just like, oh, well, my mom makes the best. So you hear that a lot. Damn, right she does. We might show you a little bit more. We might show you a little less, but it's been great exploring Saigon and even meeting you, Sophie. Get your take on the Vietnamese pho. Um, until next time, we'll check you out later. Peace.